What's up everybody, my name is Francis Ramos and welcome to my channel where I break down oil and gas concepts to help you become a better petroleum engineer. Today we'll be talking about the different parts of a drilling rig. Now, when it comes to describing a drilling rig, it really boils down to the different functions that each machinery is used. All the different equipment that you use are segregated, I guess, in different systems to fulfill different functions. And all of these systems are working together to drill the well. So there is the power system, the hoisting system, the rotary system, the fluid circulating system, the, um, the well control system, and the well monitoring system. Uh, so let's take apart each of these systems one by one. First, we have the power system. And just like the name describes, the power system basically powers the rest of the drilling rig. Um, there are two types in the power system. There is diesel electrical, which is self-explanatory, and then there's direct drive, also known as internal combustible engines. Next, we have the hoisting system. And the purpose of the hoisting system is to lift or hoist different components of different equipment for any functions of the drilling rig. Uh, you see this often when there's, say, running casing, for example. And the scariest part of the hoisting system is what is called lifting the mast, where the hoisting system is actually lifting the top of the rig, top of the derrick, from its side. Think of it like if I were to lift a, like a radio tower or maybe a three-story building on its side. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. Next, we have the rotary system and the rotary system is meant to rotate the drill string and the drill bit. Uh, the components of the rotary system is the Kelly, the Kelly bushing or rotary table, uh, rotary drive. There is the um, drill collars and drill pipe or otherwise known as the drill string. And um, the drill string is a combination of drill pipe, drill collars, drill bit, essentially. Um, when it comes to choosing what kind of drill bit and what kind of, um, what kind of pipe you're going to use, there's a whole different um, science to it. So we're going to address that in a different video. Not too, not too far away. It's not a one size fits all. It's mainly dependent on the situation. And you'll see that with a lot of equipment. Next, we have the fluid circulating system. And the purpose of the fluid circulating system is to remove debris that is caused during drilling by the drill bit. Uh, fluid actually circulates from the surface through the drill string all the way down to the drill bit and then returns to the surface via the pipe's annular volume. And the reason, um, the reason why uh, we do that is because when the drill string rotates beneath the surface, it causes a lot of debris in, on the bottom. And the main reason why we do that is because of pressure. And um, the components of the fluid circulating system is the, um, the mud pumps, the mud pits, the mud mixing equipment, and, the, uh, and some sort of contaminant removal. There's a whole different science of what kind of, what type of mud you need to use, what kind. Next, we have the well control and well monitoring system. And these two are kind of grouped together because while the fluid circulating system and the rotary system are happening, the well control and well monitoring systems are meant as a safety measure to any of the operations. Um, the main source of equipment for that is the blowout preventer, also known as the BOP. The, uh, the blowout preventer is meant to control the release of fluids when there is a kick, or should I say when the formation pressure 
is greater than the pressure exerted by the drilling fluid. When a kick happens, fluids from the formation is actually leaking into the well bore and it causes a lot of problems. We do not want that, that is bad. The BOP is a combination of accumulator units, rams, diverter systems, and rotating heads. And the heart is really the accumulator unit um, because the accumulator unit gives us a way to close the BOP uh, remotely in case of any kicks or incidents or whatnot. So I hope that uh, this video gives you an introductory level of explanation of the different parts of a drilling rig. Um, I hope that this video will help help you out in some way shape or form. I know it's a lot of information but if you eat, necess not necessarily know what exactly each component does you at least have heard it before and it becomes familiar to you over time so I hope that this helps you out. Um, if so please leave me a like it really helps the channel helps me figure out um, what other videos I can make for this channel. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Peace.